Hi, I'm Thomas Chase Jones, and uh, this is a little series of Did You Knows um, concerning diminished chords because it's the biggest uh, mystery for most musicians. How do you use it? Uh, a lot of people avoid it. They don't know the difference between a diminished chord or what they call a half diminished, which is a, got a seventh in it instead of actual uh, diminished notes. So I'm going to try to clear this up and you have to watch the whole series to kind of get it. There'll probably be three or four of these short little lessons, and by the end of it, you'll understand. So the last one, we discovered that diminished chords were major triads, uh, diminished to minor triads, diminished to diminished chords, and it ended up being that the notes were the same distance apart, a minor third. A minor third has three half steps in it, so I'm just going to call it three intervals between each note. And here is the intervals. That's a diminished, four-part diminished chord. But I'm not playing all the notes because you can see it's a big stretch here. So since that's too big of a stretch, we're going to take a couple of these notes and put them up. So this note, I'm going to move up to here. So now instead of this, I have this. That's where that note was before. Now I'm putting it up here, so it's easy for me to play that. So um, then I'm going to take the other notes and also put them up. And it ends up being this is the position on the low set of four strings of a diminished chord. I'm going to play these nice and slow so you can hear it. Okay, so that's a diminished chord right there. The nice thing about a diminished chord is because all the intervals are equal between the notes, it doesn't change its shape as you go up and down the neck. It's just... I'm trying to stay in the camera here, I'm hoping. <laughs> so that's that chord. You can see it just you just slide it around. It doesn't change positions like a lot of other chords would do. Okay, so Th these are the three sets of four strings, the shapes of a diminished chord. So I'm going to play it for you. Middle four strings. Top four strings. And on each set of four strings, these positions, they just shift. And guess what, how much they shift? Three equal intervals or a minor third. So this, that's a minor third from, from there. Same here. See? One, two, three. Down here. Okay, so the, those are the three major or the three most prominent diminished chord structures on the guitar, on the sets of strings. So you got to learn these, then these, and then these. Okay, and then on the little next lesson. I'll start showing you how to use them, okay?